when it comes to weird animals, Australia's home to quite a few. But have you ever seen one of these? They look like this um, kind of squid, but they are bigger and colourful and very relaxed. We didn't touch them, but they look slimy. And they had a long body and they had um, whisker things and they had tentacles. Hamish, Lindsay and Molly recently got to swim with Australian giant cuttlefish off the coast of Wyala in South Australia. It was a really great experience to go swimming with them. It was really cool because I haven't seen anything like it before. Tens of thousands of cuttlefish come here every year for the breeding season, which usually starts in May and ends in August. It's a pretty chilly time to go swimming, hence the warm shower afterwards. How do you feel, Lindsay? Great. <laughs> and there's nowhere else in the world that will see up to 200,000 cuttlefish in a small part of the coast. Carl's been taking people out on snorkelling tours to see the cuttlefish for 18 years now. I'm amazed by the cuttlefish every time I go to swim with them. So they're like a, a glitter ball at a disco. They're just really kind of quite glittery in the distance, yet closer. Those glittery bits just turn to huge cuttlefish full of colour. Cuttlefish are masters of camouflage. They can change the colour of their skin to hide from predators or to attract a mate. The cuttlefish are actually colour blind but they have got these little cells on their skin which can change colour. So a cuttlefish can communicate with other cuttlefish and they can also use them uh, to camouflage themselves at night. But a few years ago, it was looking like these unique cephalopods were in a bit of trouble. The numbers had dropped by around 90%. So the South Australian government set up a protected zone in the Spencer Gulf, where they couldn't be caught. Since then, the numbers have climbed back up to healthy levels, and this year the government decided to reduce the protected area. While some welcomed the decision, others, like Carl, are worried that it'll have a big impact on the cuttlefish population. We're very disappointed with the changes. The cuttlefish are there to breed and lay eggs, and we should be protecting the cuttlefish during that time. We've got more people up there now viewing the cuttlefish in the water than we ever have. People from all over the world and all around Australia are coming to see the cuttlefish. And it's not a good look to have um, people in the water trying to view the cuttlefish when fishermen are pulling them out by the bucket load. Not everyone thinks that fishing was behind the decline of cuttlefish, and the government says the changes won't have a big effect on them. But others reckon they should be protected, so more people get to experience this amazing natural phenomenon. I definitely think cuttlefish should be protected because they only live for one year and they always come to one spot um, every year to have babies and that if we keep fishing them then they won't be able to have babies. I think that they should be protected. If they're all gone then there will be none for us to see when we go snorkelling. <laughs>